Hey girlies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And you know by the title, today we are going to be channeling our inner Victoria's Secret self because why not? I mean, hey, everybody wants to be Victoria's Secret model and everyone to imitate their confidence and just really feel beautiful about themselves. I'm gonna show you how I do it and what I use, my routine, my skincare routine. I'm gonna talk about my makeup, how I even did my makeup like this. Even now the hair, you guys see, I curled my hair. I'm rocking my natural fresh curls. Um, I did curl it a little bit because I really love the fine, divine curls. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get this voluminous, beautiful hair and how to keep your hair healthy. I can't even talk. I've always wondered how Victoria's Secret models always seem so confident and their skin, their natural skin is absolutely gorgeous. Their hair is gorgeous. It's voluminous, it's healthy, it's natural, and even down to their makeup. It's really subtle, but a natural beauty that is just amazing. And I really want to know how to even channel that. And I'm gonna show you guys how I channel my Victoria's Secret model self, and also how it ties into clean girl aesthetic. Literally, watch my last video. I talk all about clean girl aesthetic, and it is so worth it. I never knew anything about it. and. I am now like obsessed with that aesthetic. As you guys can see, even now with my makeup, I literally do minimum to no makeup because I love the clean girl aesthetic. And I am the clean girl aesthetic and I'm also the Victoria's Secret aesthetic as well. So, okay guys, let's get into this video. And yeah, hey guys, you can see I'm in natural lighting because one, I really wanna embody and channel in my Victoria's Secret self because they are all about the natural, beautiful, skin the natural beautiful makeup just everything based on their natural features and they're not alterating anything to make themselves look fake or just totally unnatural so that's why we're using natural lighting i want to go with the theme and tell me if you guys sort of like the natural lighting better because i'm sort of digging the natural lighting i love how it's making my skin radiate and how it's making my hair look so pretty so yeah um the first thing I want to talk about and get into is skincare and how important it is, okay? So, a lot of people think that you're going to have clear skin by eating bad. That's a lie. That's a lie. No, 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 no. If you're doing that, stop that because you want to have a routine for your skin. And not even just for your skin, for your body because you, the way you eat is how your skin is going to look. Think about that. Victoria's Secret models are eating good, okay? <clears throat> They're at a good weight for themselves. They're also eating really well. They're staying fit because those are the things that are going to make you glow. And a Victoria's Secret model or Victoria's Secret aesthetic is all about embodying your beautiful self and really just showing the world how you are naturally, yet it still has some type of glam factor in it that just makes everyone attracted to them their confidence is just they're manifesting beauty honestly and they're embodying it and everybody wants to be like that literally millions of people want to be like that so definitely making sure you're really cracking down and just really focusing on your skin because to have bad skin is to attract bad energy and to have bad skin you're not going to attract the look that you want you're not going to get the look that you want if you don't have self-discipline. I had to learn how to self-discipline when it came to my skincare a long time ago. I did not have even an inkling on my skincare routine and how important it was. Um, I was just like not even exfoliating my skin. I wasn't going to dermatologist for certain like bumps like right here. I have heat rash and I get bumps. So... I, I, I studied about that. I went into the researching of each and every little piece and really broke down my skincare, what type of skin I have, what irritates my skin, is my skin sensitive, is it normal, is it combination skin, is it oily skin, or is it really, really dry and brittle and just really, really sensitive skin? If so, obviously I'm not gonna use a lot of products on it. I'm not gonna pack a lot of makeup on it. I'm gonna let my skin breathe and I'm also gonna make sure I am using a lot of products that are gonna hydrate my skin, 
um, that's not going to make my skin feel really irritated. That's not going to make my skin break out because you don't want your skin to break out. Victoria's Secret models do not have acne. They don't have any of that type of stuff. Not saying acne is not beautiful because everyone's beautiful in their own way. And I always encourage that as you guys can see on my short videos. You guys love it. Thank you for 120,000 of you guys viewed it and over 11K loved it. Thank you guys for supporting that. I thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Already know that. Um, but yeah, I realized after so much research and I spent days and weeks really focusing and testing different things on my skin to see what works for me. And I realized I never went to a dermatologist just to back this up because you can't exactly say what you have unless you go to professional. And I want to go to professional. <clears throat> and she said, oh, you have combination skin. Your skin is, and they did the testing and everything on my skin type, okay? I literally got professional help, okay? I said, okay, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what type of skin I have. This is this. I know people are saying this. People are saying that. Influencers are saying this. TikTok saying that. You, you know, um, all these different channels are saying this and that. And I just, I just wanted to make sure I knew what was right for me. Not that they weren't giving good information because they really do. And that's why I love TikTok. I love Instagram. I love YouTube because they really break down the details of stuff. And there's so many people who have similar skin to you that actually giving you the truth. And it feels good to find influencers such as myself that really give you the truth with everything. And that is what I love to do. I love to engage with you guys. I love to make sure you guys are feeling like you're being heard. And yeah, I love to uplift. So yeah, getting back to what I was saying, I have combination skin, okay? A combination skin is basically skin that is partially oily and also partially dry, okay? I know it sounds crazy. You guys are probably like, well, our skin looks so good. I don't understand. Where's the dryness? What? No. Let me tell you how my combination skin works because everyone's combination skin is different. Mine was like this. Okay, in the summertime, spring, my skin was extremely hydrated, very nourished, just really beautiful, and just very glowy, like it is now. Like you look at my skin, you say, Oh my god, her skin's perfect. It's it's glowy, there's no bumps. There's a bump right there. There's a bump right there. That's combination skin. Literally, in the summertime, my skin will look so, so good and then it will start breaking out. I'll get the bumps because of the heat. And it, it, I have sensitive skin also. So that just like really took a lot because I'm like, my skin's looking so good. I'm loving this. And then here comes a pimple. Here comes a bump and I am totally wrecked, okay? So that's how my skin works in the heat, in the summertime, the springtime, same thing. When the fall, Wait till you hear this, okay? In the fall. And it's probably my fault because I need to find some type of skincare product that works perfectly for my skin. In the fall. This is what happens to my skin. I'm gonna show you guys how to keep your hair healthy and also hygiene, how they dress, how you can imitate that and also Best of all, how to keep your confidence and just make your life way easier. And also channel your inner Victoria's Secret. I love, love, love talking about this. I love giving advice. It is extremely important to me to uplift you guys because that's what my channel is about. Uplifting, self-care, self-love, and most of all, self-care habits and how to improve and level up in your life. So better do it. Let's get into this video. Okay, in the fall my skin literally is so dry first off i get pale okay and not that it's bad but i have to put a lot of bronzers i have to put a lot of stuff to make my skin you know sort of dull down so i'm not like blending in with anything <clears throat> like even in the winter oh my gosh could you find me no probably not so i think a lot of people struggle with the same thing I, my skin literally gets so dry and I'm like, why can't it just be summer all the time? Minus the pimples that I'm getting, okay? In the fall, my skin is so freaking dry. It's so 
irritating okay it's so irritating and that's why i need to go to a dermatologist to fix that because we cannot have that at all okay and that's how i figured out my skin with combination skin because in the spring and in the summer it's great but in the fall and the winter mm, terrible terrible so first please be sure of what type of skin you have so you're not just putting products and wasting products like i did okay <laughs> that's not fun because you're wasting your money and who wants to waste your money nobody wants to, well people want to waste your money but who wants who wants to actually waste their own money let's face it i know i don't not at all so yeah i have combination skin i want you guys to figure out what type of skin you have so then you can really crack down on your skincare you're not just wasting products you're not just adding stuff and victoria's secret models they most likely have a skincare regime and i'm pretty sure they do i'm pretty sure i think vogue beauty secrets you guys know vogue beauty secrets i love vogue beauty secrets i can watch it all day i used to that's how i even found out more about skin too i really like was doing my research i would binge watch the beauty secret videos not just because i wanted to be on it and i still would love to be on it and be featured on that vogue if you're watching hey um no i learned so much from them and besides the dermatologist and besides my own research me learning well okay don't do this don't shave your face you know and everyone's different but don't shave your you know your face you see people shaving their face a lot for me it was not good it was actually promoting the pimples that i ha that i had okay so i stopped doing that um just really watching a diverse amount of people do different skincare and makeup hacks and just different makeup things and skincare routine products and just seeing that it's not just one product that you have to use you can literally make your own little combos and stuff to work for your skin because everyone's skin is unique everyone's skin is different and just really being inspired by that opened up new doors for me to actually really really choose the opportunities that i have with different brands and also picking out the right products within those brands i just really blossomed with that and that's how i got my skin to be where it's at now i took the time i had the patience and i written and i did the research and that's what I want you guys to do. I don't want you to just pick anything and just say, oh my God, I give up. Everything takes dedication. Everything takes time. And it's okay. Okay? Take it from me. Your girly said it's okay. And it is. Okay? So make sure that you have a skincare routine or regimen. Either one um, It's really good. Don't use a lot of harsh products on your skin. If you want your skin to be soft and glowy like the Victoria's Secret models, don't over process your skin meaning don't have like too much product build up like you're not washing your face in the morning you're not washing your face at night don't do that please wash your face in the morning and most definitely if you have makeup on please wash your face at night have some type of nighttime skincare routine as well because hey you want your skin to glow like them and what does that mean that means actually practicing things trying new things if you use a product and your skin is not like it do not keep using it don't keep using it okay you will not have the skin that you want because you are deciding to abuse your skin basically and i would not recommend that at all that's not what i did i tried different products just a small portion on the side of my face where i can easily cover it up with makeup so i'm not like just like messing up my entire face definitely try stuff out and if you don't want to use your face that's fine i also use my arm just to try different products if it irritates my arm then i'm not going to use it it's not my friend it is my friend of me okay maybe one day i'll use it if it's not too bad um make sure you have a skincare routine all that when i said with the uh diet i definitely want you guys to focus on that too because as you can see victoria's secret models are snatched okay they are snatched and I was eager and I was dedicated to get my body like that. And I'm telling you, was it this summer, but it was the last summer. Your girl had a beautiful body. Okay. And my body is still beautiful, but I was exercising like, I don't know what. And I had abs 
and my body was so toned and I was really embodying, embodying, oh my gosh, embodying and channeling my Victoria's Secret self. And I felt so beautiful and I felt so good, okay? And I'm happy that I think, I think that the Victoria's Secret model is, is the Victoria's Secret model runway show is coming back. I believe I've seen it on TikTok and I think it's on Netflix. Oh my God, I'm gonna binge watch that, okay? Cause I just love the glitter. I love like the confidence. It's just so cool. And I'm like, wow, I'm so inspired to be like that, honestly. But yeah, making sure you eat salads. Please eat like, tons of salads, vegetables, fruits, anything, drink water. Drink your water, okay? Please do. Drink your water. What's that gonna do? That's gonna make your skin glow, okay? Your skin's gonna glow, it's gonna be beautiful, and you're gonna feel so energized, and you're gonna feel healthy, you're gonna feel vibrant, you're gonna feel ready to walk your own runway in your own life, okay? You are gonna say, everyone get out my way, and I'm gonna walk this runway because I own this, okay? And that's what I do every time I walk in a store, best to believe I own it, okay? When you see me, you'll be like, oh my gosh, she's so confident. I, I used to get so many compliments. And even now, so many compliments on how confident I am. Literally, people were like, they were like, who is she? Well, yeah, I'm her. Well, that's me. I'm her. Why am I her? Because I'm embodied. I'm embodying. No, I can't even talk. I'm embodying my Victoria's Secret self. My mindset is confident. I'm eating healthy. I'm exercising. I'm putting in the time. I'm getting up early and I'm going to the gym. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm setting boundaries with myself to really embody what I'm going after and what I want. Okay? So making sure you go to the gym. Okay? You're going to circulate good energy to yourself. You're going to feel good. You're going to... You're gonna look good, okay? Best believe. And that is extremely important if you want to embody your Victoria's Secret self, okay? Another thing is um, getting back to eating. You're going to want to make sure that you are maybe staying uh, away from carbs. And not that carbs are bad, but if, you're, if your goal is to lose weight and get that super hourglass shape, like I naturally had it, so I didn't have to do too much, but... Um, if you want to get the hourglass shape, what are you going to sit down and eat chips all day? Mm -mm -mm. Don't sit down and eat chips all day. You want to make sure you are hitting that gym. You are putting yourself on some type of like plan, some type of um, meal plan, okay? Because you want to you want to keep stuff going. You want to keep that good energy circulating, honestly. And a lot of people don't even realize how important it is and the benefits that it does for your body. Going to the gym will not make you just fit. You will feel good, you guys. The energy will rise up. You will find yourself in some type of confidence level that you've never found yourself before. And you will then start to logically realize that, hey, I am that. Okay, I am that. And you will feel like that no cursing on here but you guys know my drift okay making sure you go to the gym you're feeling good about yourself people are seeing you they're complimenting you all of a sudden you're feeling like you are that and you run the world and you do okay so definitely do that get in on the hygiene you guys know the rule on the arms see my little dance no they can't be funky no, no, no. Remember this. To channel your Victoria's Secret self, you have to have good hygiene, good skin, beautiful hair. And it might sound like a lot, but when you actually start doing that, you will see a total change. And not just yourself, you will see your friends are complimenting you. People down the street, when you're walking, People are, people's heads are going like, oh, who is she? Uh, okay, mouse will be dropped. Uh, like that, yeah. 
yeah this is real stuff you guys so you can you can and channel it you can do it i'm telling you, you can do it your girl is here to prove it because i've done it myself and you guys see the benefits and i'm loving the benefits i'm so happy that i glowed up and didn't glow down because at the end of the day it really is your decision on whether you're going to succeed in this or you're going to fail in this and i'm here to tell you you want to succeed in this you do not want to fail okay um another thing i want to get into was like i said the under pits making sure that you use deodorant if you sweat a lot okay just get wipes don't let yourself don't let sweat just drip down to your arm and to your hand and it, it that's nasty okay you don't want to do that you want to make sure you have some type of wet wipes to wipe under your arms so you're you know you're clean and no one smells you because you don't want to stink and yeah um another thing is you want to not even just with your skincare routine for your face you want to make sure you're also having some type of skincare routine for your body Let's think about it. Victoria's Secret models always what? Glow. They always glow. These I love to talk about. If you want to know more about just the basics of glowing up outside this video or outside of what I'm about to talk about, please go ahead and check out my glow up before school video. The next one, it should be the next one up, but if not, go ahead and scroll down my channel. It is right there and I talk about the secrets, the benefits, all the things that people aren't telling you about how to glow before school, even overnight or last minute. I'm giving you all the secrets on how to do that. So go ahead and check it out. It's going to help you. You guys are going to find the answers to what you've been looking for. And most of all, you guys know I tell you the truth about everything. So bingo, there it is. Um, yeah. So don't forget to check that out. Uh, so definitely making sure that you have some type of hygiene and also making sure that your skin is glowing Not just from the inside, but also on the outside as well is extremely important If you want to glow and look shiny and also look really healthy and vibrant like the Victoria's Secret models I believe that um, What can help you is making sure that you have some type of moisturizers I know for me for a fact when I was on my glow up and I was really eating healthy just like I am now but just that part of the glow up process to get me where I am now I was making sure that I am taking the everything shower you guys have heard of that that's what I do and that's what I did before that means you're gonna have a really good fragrant soap or cleanser depending on the person and if you're doing your entire body you know you soap um, and if I don't know everyone has their own thing I don't know if a soap cleanser that is all your choice don't go by me with that because that is whatever hydrates your skin you do not want your skin to be dry okay so what I did I had a soap and even sometimes I had a cleanser that I mixed in to really get in those pores and really 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 scrub my skin and get it nice and clean and just clear and beautiful and soft because Victoria's Secret skin I'm sure is probably not hard um, it's probably like really soft and smooth and just really vibrant and beautiful So making sure you have an exfoliant to use on your skin making sure you have some type of Scrub because there's all types of scrubs. There's sugar scrubs. There's coffee scrubs. There's caffeine scrubs. There's citrus scrubs You know what I'm saying. Okay, I I, I have How many scrubs I have an entire store inside of my beauty room filled with scrubs okay so making sure you have some type of scented scrub if you don't like fragrances don't worry about it. you don't have to you could always supplement that for a perfume or some type of scented butters are also good as well so really making sure you scrub your skin getting it nice and smooth and nice and clear and you will reap tons of the benefits also after that you're going to make sure you have some type of really really good moisturizer that's going to last all day that is not going to make your skin dry and just like have this like weird residue because I found out that some moisturizers that I was using a long time ago was leaving like either like too greasy or it was just leaving like a really weird residue on my skin and I was not liking it because I always use sunscreen as well so I wanted something that went with that too like I do a combination with my skin on my face and also a body combination as well so definitely making sure you have a scented 
or unscented scrub, unscented or scented butter that is gonna just really nourish and hydrate your skin, really lock in those moisture barriers and really just build this confidence for yourself because one, you're not just focusing on your face and your features and this and that. You're also making sure that you have really good skin and that your body is just amazing. Your skin is just glowing and really channeling the Victoria's Secret self. Another thing that I want to go over is makeup, but I think I'm going to do a part two of this video because I love talking about this and we're getting towards the end of this video. So tell me if you want to see that. Um, I'm going to do that anyways, but still let me know. Um, we're going to be talking about makeup. We're going to be, uh, within makeup, we're going to be talking about your lashes, how to make your lashes really long, um, growth serums that are really good for your lashes, eyebrow serums, also good lip packs for soft, beautiful, pigmented lips. Also, if you have freckles and things of that nature to embody that and make that look really, really beautiful for yourself so you won't feel insecure, you guys. Now, I do tons of shorts about that to make you feel really good about yourself and also embody your beautiful self and unique self as well. So yeah, okay, we are at the end of this video, girlies. Thank you so much for watching. You guys know I love feedback from you guys and just, I'm so happy you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so happy. So yeah, I will see you in my next video. Let me know what you wanna see. And you guys know I always do a vote under my community posts all the time to see what you guys are doing, what you wanna see, affirmations and this and that. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you besties for watching most of all. And I love you besties. I will see you in my next video. Once again, stay true to yourself and you are all absolutely beautiful and love yourself always. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>